Okay, let's get right into it. In this DIY, I'll be using some books from Dollar Tree, but you can use any books. You can go to the thrift store and use some of those older books as well. All right, the first thing I did was remove the cover and then use Mod Podge to glue the first few pages together. Now I'm using Mod Podge from this large container, but you can find small containers of Mod Podge at Dollar Tree. Now this is really simple. All you need to do is brush the Mod Podge on. I'll glue the first few pages together. Now when you open the book, you'll notice that the first few pages are somewhat separate from the other pages. I'm going to start out by gluing those to the cover first, and then I'll go to the back of the book and do the same thing. And you'll notice that I'll take our time to make sure that each page is glued together smoothly after each application. Now that I'm done gluing those first pages to the cover, I'll go ahead and glue the entire book together. And I'll do that by holding the book closed and then brushing more Mod Podge on the outside of the pages. But when I do this, I'm making sure that it's a smooth application. As you can see, I'm being very generous with the Mod Podge, making sure to get it into the binder and also making sure that I put some just inside each cover as well. I then repeated these steps on the front of the book and on the bottom as well. After I was done, I pressed down really hard on my book to make sure that there wasn't any seepage. Now I'll go ahead and put some weight on top and this is very important because you don't want your book to separate. So I'm going to put the weight on there, let it completely dry, and then add an additional coat of the Mod Podge and let that dry as well. Okay, my book is completely dry after two coats of Mod Podge. Now I'll take it outside and spray paint it silver. I spray painted my book silver as you can see and it's completely dry. Now I'll mix a Mod Podge with some silver glitter and brush it onto the pages of my book. After I was done mixing the glitter with the Mod Podge, I brushed it onto the pages of my book. Again, I made sure that the application was really smooth. Okay, my glitter and Mod Podge mixture is completely dry and you can see that it's really pretty. I really like how it turned out. I might come in with an additional coat, but I'm not sure yet. But before I even decide, I want to go ahead and start decorating my book. So I'm going to add some bling to the top, the bottom, and the front of my book. And instead of hot glue, I'll be using some of this Dollar Tree Fix All. I did use a drop of hot glue because there's a little bit of a dip right there in the book and the glue doesn't dry right away so I used the hot glue to hold it in place as the rest of the glue dried.
Now I had a couple of different ideas on how I wanted to decorate this book, but at the last minute I decided to just do it completely in bling because a lot of you guys only have bling on hand, so I'm going to decorate this solely in bling. So I'll get the extra blinginess by adding the Mod Podge and glitter mixture in the background of my bling. Okay, so my mixture of Mod Podge and glitter is completely dry. Now I use some more of the Dollar Tree Fix All glue to glue my bling onto my book. Alright, to save on time, I've already pre cut some of the bling. And before I glue it on, I'm going to measure and make sure that it fits properly. I'll glue the first part on, then come back, apply more glue, and then glue the second part on. Now because I'm going to stack my books, I won't be decorating the face of them. Now that I'm done adding the bling, and because the glue is a little smelly, I'm going to put it outside and let it completely dry. Okay, moving right along, I pretty much did the same thing with this book. The only thing I did different was add mirror tiles. And when you're working with mirror tiles, it's a little bit different than working with bling because you can't cut it exactly where you need it. So sometimes you have to work around it to make it fit. Now I chose to glue the mirror tile on the same way that I did the bling and I really wasn't happy with the results. When I laid it the long way it didn't line up properly. That's why I did it that way. So it's best to use it the long way if possible. As you'll see the two pieces never lined up perfectly. Now I do have a third book that I decorated off camera of course and I used the mirror tiles. It's a larger book and I was able to use the mirror tiles the long way. And it turned out really good. And you'll see that, guys, at the end of the video. Now, as you know, the mirror tiles come with adhesive on the back. Sometimes the adhesive does not do the job. So I'm going to help it out this time around because I want it permanent. And I'm going to use more of the Dollar Tree Fix All glue. Now when I applied the mirror tiles, you can see that I tried really hard to get those pieces to line up, but it just wouldn't do it, so I'm going to find something else to do with this. I do have an idea, and I'd like to get your feedback on it, so YouTube has this new feature they're trying out, and it's called Stations, and they invited me to try it out, and I'm so excited because it'll give me a chance to talk with you guys. So now I have a number where you can call and we can talk live. So I'll leave my number so you can call me. And while I'm having my conversations with whomever, the chat will still be open so I'll be able to chat and answer phone calls. And I think stations can be used to get to know each other better, do more giveaways, take more requests, whatever. And I just hope we use it to have a lot of fun. So I'll elaborate a little bit more on stations at the end of the video. Now that the book is completely covered, I'm going to let the glue dry. I'll stack all three books together, come back, and let you see what they look like. Okay, and here's the third one that I did off camera. It's a lot larger and it's actually thicker as well. And as you can see, by applying the mirrors the long way, it turned out a whole lot better. And as you can see here, I added some rubber feet to the bottom of this book because it'll always be on the bottom and they will prevent my book from scratching or sliding across my table. Here's the book that I covered in diamond wrap, also known as bling, and this one will always sit in the middle. And here's the third book that I decorated on camera, and it completes the set. And I topped it off with this beautiful candle holder that I DIY'd as well, and I'll link it below in the description box. Okay everyone, this completes this DIY. I'm absolutely in love with my books. And like I said, I have an idea for another DIY, and I'd like to discuss it with you today. So I'm going to go ahead and try this thing out for the first time. Again, it's called Stations, and I'm going to leave my number below so you guys can give me a call. And like I said, the chat will be open as well, so I look forward to seeing you soon. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, and please comment below. I love hearing from you all. 
Don't forget to share. Oh, and I forgot to mention thumbs it up. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, guys. It's really important. All right, I'll be waiting for you.